Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So oh, amen and amen. Brother Tom is with you here, and this is the ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, folks out there, a look at the character of God. A brief look at the character of God, because that's a lot to look at. But a brief look at the character of God. In the wonderful Old Testament book of Micah, he is listed as one of the minor prophets, but based upon what we read here, I don't see anything minor about him at all, what he's writing. All right. <laughs> Micah chapter 7. Micah chapter 7. Mm -hmm. And here are the two verses. Who is a God like unto thee? that pardoneth iniquity, and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage. He retaineth not his anger forever, because he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again, he will have compassion upon us, he will subdue our iniquities, and thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Who, who is a God like unto thee? Oh, Lord God, there is none. There is no God like unto this God. The one and true living God, capital G God. There is none like unto him. Not man, not angel, not there is no other capital G God that there is no God like unto the God. None that can even come close or compare that would call themselves a God. There is one true and living God and he is awesome indeed. And while it is very true that God is holy and righteous and just, and those must be met, God's holiness cannot be ignored. His righteousness cannot be ignored. His justice cannot be ignored. For they are his character. He is a holy God. He is a righteous God and a just God. And those standards must be met. Mm -mm. Well, that would be bad news for just about all of us. Well, for all of us, if it were not for another fact. God is also a loving, merciful God. Indeed. Who is a God like unto thee? that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage. He retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy. He pardoneth iniquity. He passeth by the transgressions because he delights in mercy. God provides a way to be able to be holy, <laughs> righteous and just as he is, and to be able to pardon and pass by the transgressions. God has provided a way. Now here, Micah is, is, is writing to the children of God, Israel, the the Hebrew people, God's chosen people. But as for them, and there is for us today, you and I, a way that God has provided to save his people. And it's beautiful indeed. And it's a plan that God put into place before the foundation of the world 
before any I said was spoken in the creation. God knew. God had a plan. God was going to carry out. And there is nothing that can stop God's plan. Regardless of what the world would say, the devil might whisper in people's ears and how it might look by appearance. God has a plan to save his people and it cannot be, it cannot be stopped. What God has planned to do will be carried out absolutely to the letter. Yes. Now, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> he retaineth not his anger forever because he delighteth in mercy. He delighteth in mercy. He delights in mercy. He would rather be merciful. <laughs> he loves mercy. As we know, God's mercy endures forever. We read of it over and over and over again. God's mercy endures forever. Oh, praise God and thank God. As we've often shared, God's mercy is not receiving that which you do deserve. But grace instead which is to receive what you don't deserve. <laughs> In mercy, we do not receive what we deserve, which is destruction, hell and damnation. And in his grace, we receive that which we do not deserve. Salvation, forgiveness, Eternal life, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Oh, praise God. The way that sin is pardoned, the way that he may pass by the transgressions, it's Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. There are times when God gets angry. God does not like sin. God does not. He hates sin because it separates us from our right relationship with him. And God desires to have a right relationship with us. One not hindered by sin. But he will turn again. He will have compassion upon us and will subdue our iniquities. Yes, God will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities, subdue them, conquer them, put them all together. And what's he going to do with them? Cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Into the depths of the sea. In another place we know that God, as far as east is from west. Praise God. Praise God. This is the beauty of the person of God. Holy, righteous, and just, but delights in mercy, delights in forgiveness, and has provided a way that his holiness, his righteousness, and justice can be met and are met, <laughs> and for we to be forgiven. Brothers and sisters, folks out there, today it is in Jesus Christ, Jesus, God in the flesh, born of a virgin birth, came into this world, lived a sinless life, 
He who is the Christ, the anointed one. Jesus, who bled and died upon the cross, was buried and rose the third day. Jesus has done what it takes for this to be true as they looked forward to it. It is true as we look back to it. It is Jesus who has provided the way that our sins he can do and cast into the depths of the sea that we might receive forgiveness and enter right relationship with God. Eternal. Eternal. How beautiful is the mercy of God. How beautiful the God of mercy who delights in his mercy, who delights in cleansing us of our sin, that we might know him and be with him. In Jesus our Lord, forever and ever. Today, believe in Jesus, what he has done, who he is, Savior, saved you from your sin, paid the price, paid the price. Hallelujah. The pardon for our iniquity. How glorious. Believe in Jesus today. Receive him as your Savior, the Lord. Receiving it, what he has done has paid the price for the sin that separates you from God. That that sin might be cast into the depths of the sea. That you may be filled with his spirit. Walking in newness of life. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Today, believe, trust the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, believe today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.